This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi everyone and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Fall Season of 2019. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We're so happy you could join us. I know a lot of you play along and we have gathered some of the best and brightest of our area to compete for the title this year. Tonight, you are going to see Bath take on Allen East and a little bit later in the show, Finley will face off against Lipsick. Of course, we wanna welcome back our judge, Mark Dickman. We wanna thank him for joining us once again this year. If we have any questions about any of the answers, we will refer to Mark for those. All right, we are going to turn now to Bath and introduce you to our players. Joining us from Bath High School is Derek Inskeep, Natalie Crow, Tanner Delacerda, and Jemin Gandhi. And Bath is coached by Dan Grimm. Welcome to all of you. Okay, turning now to Allen East, we have players Michaela Cosart, Corbin Reynolds, Aiden Neff, and Lewis Schaefer. Allen East is coached by Kristen Dixon. Welcome to all of you. Okay, everybody ready? All right, our first round, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Make sure you get those buzzers ready. When you ring in, it's so important. We remind you all the time, but it really is important for those watching at home. They wanna hear your answers and we wanna make sure your judge hears your answers as clearly as possible and make them as complete as you can as well, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one. Name the state whose city of Hilo is located on what is called the state's big island. Yes, that would be Bath. Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. Question number two. At five and a half percent, what is the simple interest on $1,000 for one year? Yes, Beth. $55. $55 is the correct answer. Question number three. Name the former Supreme Court Justice for whom the Baltimore Washington International Airport has been renamed. Yes, Bath. Marshall Thurgood. That is incorrect. Ellen East, do you want to try this one? Okay, time is up. The answer is Thurgood Marshall. That close. All right, <laughs> moving on. Question number four. On the periodic table of elements, which has the atomic symbol of 12? Yes, that would be Bath. Carbon. Carbon is incorrect. Alan East, do you want to try it? Yes. Oxygen. Oxygen, also incorrect. Magnesium is the answer. All right, question number five in this game. Which word designates all the unwritten stories and legends of a culture that are told from one generation to another? Yes, Bath. Folklore. Folklore is the answer. All right, number six. What term is used to designate a sentence that makes a statement such as, he loves to watch movies? Yes, Bath. Declarative. Declarative is the answer. All right, number seven. Which battle in Maryland on September 17, 1862, remains America's deadliest single day of battle? Yes, Bath. Battle of Antium. That is correct. Question number eight. Which state is nicknamed the Prairie State? Yes, Bath. Kansas. Kansas is incorrect. Ellen East, you can try this one. Yes. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is also incorrect. The answer is Illinois. All right, two questions remaining in this first round. Identify the section of New York City that is known as a home to artists and writers. Yes, Bath. Greenwich Village. Greenwich Village is the correct answer. And your final question in this first round. 
What word beginning with the letter R designates an attack on an opponent's evidence or argument in formal, yes, Beth? Rebuttal. Rebuttal is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round in this game between Ellen East and Bath, and we will be back with a second round right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Right, we are heading into rounds two and three of our game between Allen East and Bath. Here is a score right now. Bath High School, you have 70 points. Allen East, you still have to get on the board. So hopefully this round will prove that for you. So Bath, though, you get to lead the second round. You'll have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but I still ask that you buzz in, okay? All right, number one. Identify the device that determines the direction of the north magnetic pole. Yes. Compass. Compass is correct. Question two. On June 12th of 1987, which American president said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down, yes. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan is the answer. All right, question number three. Which southernmost continent is the home of the South Pole? Yes, Bath. Antarctica. Antarctica is correct. Question four. What number lies midway between negative six and positive ten? Yes. Two. Two is the answer. And your final question in the second round. Which of the planets in our solar system comes last alphabetically? Yes. Venus. Venus is the correct answer. All right, very good. Alan East, your turn now. Five questions, five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers. All right. Name the Danish author of The Emperor's New Clothes and Other Fairy Tales. Yes. Emerson. Emerson is incorrect. It's Hans Christian Andersen. All right, question two. What adjective specifies that a musical instrument makes its own sound without depending on electronics? Yes. Acoustic. Acoustic, and you are on the board. All right, very good. All right, question three. How many days is a fortnight? Yes. Two weeks. 14 days. 14 days is correct. Okay. What does the acronym FDIC stand for? All right, time is up. The answer is Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. All right, moving now to your final question in the second round. Which city in Australia is best known for its harbor front opera house? Yes. Sydney. Sydney is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our second round now. Here is the score. Bath, you have 95 points. Allen East with 15. This third and final round, again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. What is the perimeter of a rectangle with a length of eight inches and a width of six inches? Yes, Bath. 28 inches. 28 inches is the correct answer. Question number two. Who is the nursemaid to the children in Peter Pan? Yes, Ellen East. Wendy Darling. That is incorrect. Bath, you want to try it? The answer is Nana, the St. Bernard. All right, question number three. Name the parasitic disease that is the leading tropical killer in history. Yes, Beth. Malaria. Malaria is correct. 
How many movements does a symphony usually have? Bath. Four. Four is the right answer. Question five. Identify the period in Europe, approximately 1300 to 1600. All right, Bath. The Renaissance. Renaissance is the correct answer. Question six in this final round. Who killed Lee Harvey Oswald? Yes, Bath. Jack Ruby. Jack Ruby is the answer. Name two of the four U.S. presidents to have been assassinated. Yes, Bath. John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln. You are correct. The other two are James Garfield and William McKinley. All right, question eight in your final round. How many interlocking rings does the Olympic symbol? Yes. Five. Five is the correct answer. To which two parts of the body does the word cerebrospinal refer? Yes, Bath. The brain and the spinal cord. That is the correct answer. And here's your final question. By land mass, name the smallest country. Yes, Bath. Vatican City. Vatican City is correct. All right. We've come to the end of our game between Allen East and Bath and our final score. Allen East, you did get on the board with 15 points. We want to thank you for joining us this season. And Bath, you are the winners with 100 is that right? 85 points? Well, congratulations. We'll see you back here in a couple weeks. We'll be back with our next game right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers. The Taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All Family of Dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we are ready to start a new game. We just wrapped up a game between Bath High School and Allen East. Bath came out the big winner there with 185 points. They will go on to play the winner of this game now, being played with Finley High School and Lipsick. Of course, we want to introduce you to our players joining us from Finley High School. We have Marshall Bott, Hannah Mueller, Craig Corbin, and Jack Conrad. Finley High School is coached by Katherine Gaskell. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Lipsick. Joining us is Trent Schrader, Ben Hazelman, Mitchell Mag, and Gideon Brake. Lipsick is coached by Rob Cup. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, we are going to play two rounds before we take our first break. The first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Want to make sure you get the buzzers ready, and when you answer, please speak as loudly as you can. It might seem uncomfortable, but we really need to hear those answers, or we will have to refer to our judge. Also, make them as complete as possible, okay? Here we go. Question number one in this first round. Which term designates a person who is holding an office while running for re-election? Incumbent. Incumbent is the answer, Finley. All right. Question number two, what currency is used in Europe? Finley. Euro. Euro is the correct answer there. All right, question number three. What term beginning with the letter O describes an object through which light cannot pass? Yes, Finley. Opaque. Opaque is the correct answer. Name the poet who is famous for the line, once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary. Edgar yes. Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe is correct, Lipsick. All right. Number five, name the instrument for which Bach, Mozart, and Haydn were the first major composers. Yes, Finley. Piano. Piano is correct. Which country became independent in 1948 when the last British troops? Yes, that would be Finley. India. India is incorrect. Lipsick, would you like me to complete the question? 
Which country became independent in 1948 when the last British troops left Palestine? Israel? Yes, Israel is the answer there. All right, moving now to question number seven. Who was credited with yelling, the British are coming, even though, yes, that would be Finley. Paul Revere. Paul Revere is correct. What word of Latin origin means word for word? Verbatim. Verbatim is correct, Finley. All right, two questions remaining in your first round. What term designates the point on the Earth's surface directly above the focus of an earthquake? Yes, Finley. Epicenter. Epicenter is the answer there. And your final question in round one. In which book is the character Boo Radley? Yes, Lipsick. To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird is the answer there. All right. Moving now to our second round. Here's our score. Lipsick, you have 30 points. Finley with 70. That means, Finley, you're going to lead this round with five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please ring in, okay? Name the heavenly body that Galileo discovered was not a smooth sphere shining by its own light. Yes, Finley. The moon. The moon is the correct answer. Number two, name the New Zealander who was the first to climb to the top of Mount Everest. Yes. A uh, Norgay. That is incorrect. The answer is Sir Edmund Hillary. Number three, name the national park located in Wyoming that sits atop a volcanic hotspot. Yes. Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yellowstone is correct. All right, moving now to question number four. Identify the country that was the first country for Germany to invade, which led to the start of World War II. Yes. Poland. Poland is the answer. And here's your final question for this second round. Which element on the periodic table has an element symbol of C? Yes. Carbon. Carbon is the answer. All right, very good. All right, Finley, you have 85 points now. Lips, or that'd be 90 points. Lipsick, you have 30. This is your chance now to make a move. You have five questions worth five points apiece. Please ring in the buzzer. Amman is the capital of which Middle East country? Yes. Oman. That is incorrect. The answer is Jordan. All right, what word describes the Jewish practice of preparing food in accordance with Leviticus and Deuteronomy? Yes. Kosher. Kosher is the correct answer. All right, how did Moses' mother save him from the Egy Egyptian soldiers? Yes. Put him in the basket in the Nile. That is the correct answer. She put him in the basket in the river. All right, two questions remaining in this round. What is the first letter of the Greek alphabet? Yes. Alpha. Alpha is the answer there. And your final question. Which French martyr was burned at the stake for her beliefs in 1431? Yes. Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is correct. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two between Lipsick and Finley. We'll finish out this game when we come back, so don't go anywhere. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right. 
We are moving into our final round of competition now between Finley and Lipsick. Our score right now, Lipsick, you have 50 points. Finley, you have 90. This final round is again 10 questions with 10 points apiece. Everybody get those buzzers ready. Which bird has the largest wingspan? Yes, Finley. Albatross. Albatross is correct. Question number two. Who attempted to assassinate President Reagan in the early 1980s? Time is up. The answer is John Hinckley. All right, question three. How many books are in the New Testament? Yes, that would be Finley. 32. 32 is incorrect. Lipsick, you want to try it? 14. 14 is also incorrect. It's 27. All right, question number four. Near which country is the Great Barrier Reef located? Yes, Finley. Australia. Australia is the answer. All right, question number five. How many ocean basins on Earth do most countries currently recognize? Five. Five is correct. You don't have to name them, but it's the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and most recently recognized is the Southern Ocean. All right, good job. Question number six. Which Dutch painter cut off part of his ear? Yes, Finley. Van Gogh. Could you expand the name, please? Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh is correct. All right, number seven. What color is chlorophyll? Yes, Lipsick. Green. Green is the right answer there. Who topped Forbes' list as the world's uh, richest person in 2019? Jeff yes, Bezos. Finley. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is the correct answer. He is the founder of Amazon. Two questions remaining in this final round. What is a young sea lion or a seal called? Yes, it would be Lipsick. A cub. A cub. That is correct. And your final question in your game. Which instrument made of brass and lacks valves or keys is traditionally used to play, yes? The bugle. The bugle is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game now between Lipsick and Finley High Schools. Here is our final score. Lipsick, you had 80 points. Finley, moving on with 140 points. Congratulations. All right, we want to thank all of you for joining us at home. We'll see you back here next week. Until then, have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.